Hey everyone, uh, my name is Captain Kirby and uh, this is a CNE tutorial uh, how to download the engine. Uh, before this video begins, I would like to let you all know uh, to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell, all that jazz. Um, also, I have a Discord server, follow it, or come join. <laughs> so, uh, today we're going to be covering kind of how to download the codename engine. So, to start off, um, let's just type in and do exactly what anyone would do and type in codename, codename engine fnf. There we go. Uh, and once we do that, we see that they have a GitHub right here, and there's also a Funkopedia mods wiki here. There's also the Twitter link, which does have a separate download. However, today's tutorial is going to teach you how to get the latest and greatest in the GitHub action. So we're going to go to GitHub. We're going to click this link. It's going to open up here. Now, we're going to see a little bit of an issue here. Um, I'm not signed into my GitHub account because that's going to be a little bit of the later video here. Uh, but basically, whenever you're going to do codename, uh, you're going to need a GitHub account. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk everyone who doesn't have a GitHub account through that right now. And everyone who does can skip to the timestamp indicated just in the editing, post editing here. Um, so we're going to go into sign up. Let's see if I can remember how to. Okay. So next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to create a password. Um, I'm going to create a password right now. Uh, Okay, so after you do that, you're going to click continue. Uh, we're going to enter a username. Next. There's going to be a lot of editing in this part. <laughs> uh, so we'll enter a username next. That should work. Uh, email preferences. We'll leave that blank. Okay, now we have to verify our account. So it's going to... Submit. Cool. All right. Uh, and that's how you make a GitHub account. Now we need to go over to our email and grab that note, uh, verification thing. So I'm going to do that. All right. Okay. So now that you've done that, now that you've taken the verification link and popped it in there, uh, it's going to be most likely be just you. Um, if you're a student or a teacher, you can put that in. I'm just going to put not applicable and click continue. Um, all this stuff, you can pretty much just skip over it, go continue. Uh, you're going to go continue for free. And voila, we are now in our home page. This is great. So now what we can do is we can go into a new tab. We can type in codename engine, FNF, and we can go here. All right, so now that we're in codename engine, we're signed in underneath our account, uh, we can now go to the Actions tab. Go to the Actions tab, and the Actions tab is going to have every single push that the dev team pushes onto whatever branch is within this. We'll talk about it all later if I do get to a codename specific one. Um, while we're also here, I will also mention that there is a wiki here. There's also an extra link that takes you to all the API stuff. Uh, once again, might talk about it in a later video. Um, so for now, we're going to want to focus on the latest workflow. In this case, it's Colors Baby. Um, you're going to want to find whatever your build is. If you look down here, so I have a Windows computer, so I'm going to click on Windows Build. If you have a Linux, you can click on Linux or Mac OS. You can click on Mac OS. Next, we're going to click on whatever the newest workflow run is. It, in your case, it might not be Colors Baby. It might be whatever one is at the top. I'm going to click it. Wonderful. And then we're going to go and scroll down here. And as you can see, we have triggered via push, all this stuff. Uh, this is a, uh, not really important. What we're looking for is the artifacts right here. We're looking for this specific thing right here. And at, underneath this uh, is codename engine. And you can see how the text highlights blue. In order to get that text to highlight blue, you must be signed into an account. So that's why we did all the sign-in stuff um, earlier on. 
Uh, so now what you can do is you can click the blue text, it'll shoot it up, and it'll start downloading it. Now in this case it's one because I've already downloaded the tutorial engine, uh, but I will show you just how to uh, do that as well. So I will now skip until the engine has downloaded. So now that our codename engine has finished downloading, we can move over to our file folder here, and we can see that the engine is right here. Wow. All right. So now we're, what we're going to do is we're going to click on this. It's going to open up in WinRAR. In this case, if you have Windows, uh, if you have other um, uh, OSs, you can find a uh, zip opener. So 7-zip is really good, I know. Uh, I use WinRAR. So now that you're in here, you can see that we have assets, manifest, mods, plugins, codename engine, all that stuff. Uh, we can now shift click. So uh, hold shift and click to get the whole thing or just click up here, then click extract to or extract. And then you're going to want to navigate to try and find whatever folder you're going to do it in. So in this case, I would take FNF here, my FNF folder, I would click new folder at the top here, that will create a folder, we're just going to call it uh, codename engine uh, tutorial, press enter, see that it's highlighted here, and then click OK. And that's going to start exporting into that folder. Now, if we close out of our WinRAR, go back, go to our F codename engine tutorial right here. So now that you've navigated to your folder with your codename engine in it, you should have all of the files here needed for modding. You can now click on the exe just to make sure it works. It should pop up just like so. And click enter and we'll see if the actual volume is working here <laughs> and just like that we have the engine working very very cool very very cool and that is basically how you download codename engine um, in an essence now go into the engine Ooh, okay, it works but uh, this tutorial is only for downloading codename engine not actually modding it so we will uh, leave that there for this tutorial. I hope that you all enjoyed it. Um, if you have any questions, just reach out to me on Discord. If you find any errors in this video, please let me know as I will try and do my best to keep these up to date as possible. Uh, once again, please, please, please show your support by liking, subscribing, and commenting, clicking notification bell, all that stuff. Uh, yeah, and that was the how to download Codename Engine onto your computer.